I am, um, it's Gordon Ramsay the Apprentice. No, it's me, Georgia. Basically, I'm gonna cook, um, I'm gonna cook vegan, because, you know, basically I just think, obviously I'm not vegan because jerk pork. But um, I think it's important that we all try and do stuff in the environment and like things, yeah, and like reducing the amount of meat you do, is, you eat, you do. Reducing the amount of meat you eat, reducing the amount of meat you eat is very good for the environment apparently, so I'm gonna do that. Obviously I'm sporting the headscarf because I'm a 1950s housewife and I'm cooking a meal for my man, <laughs> the other man. For my family, so yeah. So I'm doing Rachel Alma's recipe. She's my love. She's so fit. She's been having a baby, so you know, you can't be, you can't be in a relationship, you know. So basically, um, it's a butternut squash, butternut squash and chickpea curry. Because we like to have it flavoursome in here. We like to help the environment also. So let's go. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is get a butternut squash and we're going to chop these, the butternut squash into little pieces. Obviously you can see why I'm Gordon Ramsay's apprentice, not his head chef, but ugh, practice makes perfect. Ugh. Butternut squashes are surprisingly hard to cut, just to let you know. Yep, so cut, cut, cut. Um, yeah, I just, I'm going to take the seeds out because I feel like they're not funky, fun and fresh, are they? They're just a bit chewy like obviously <laughs> it's part of my zero waste lifestyle obviously i'm joking in a levels you cannot be zero waste the amount of sheets my politics teacher gave me is criminal um but yeah i'm just going to use them i might roast them or something you know what i mean basically um rachel alma said to um pop these in the Rachel just said to pop these in the pan, but I think I'm going to roast them because I think that would just be nice and just have a nice flavour. And I think that butternut squash can be quite horrible. So I think roasted would be nice. Oh god, he died. <gasps> For goodness sake. Ugh. This is hard work, man. Getting muscles. My mum's probably in, my mum's in the other room probably thinking, what the heck, man? What's she on? I was just saying, butternut squash, babe. Uh, so hard to cut. Uh. Oh, wow. I actually give up with this now. I'm actually tired of this. I've really had enough. Basically, because it doesn't say it in the recipe, I'm just going to have a quick Google how long I'm supposed to, like, roast this for. So basically, the recipe said um, to roast it for, like, 25 minutes, um, but I'm just going to roast it for 15 minutes and check it. Hi, um, I've turned to this way round now. So I'm just peeling some garlic. Well, crushing the garlic. I shouldn't show off. Um, cushion garlic, and I'm putting that on my butternut squash tray bake. I use like loads of garlic because I'm a garlic fiend. I love it. It's beautiful. I really just add everything that you need to anything.
Okay, um, I want to show you the seasonings that I'm putting on in my curry. So this is, oh, you see, the lighting here, man. Okay, you can't see, but it's garam masala in a um, pasta jar because, you know, we love to save your ramen. So, yeah, we're doing like two tablespoons of that, like heap tastings, tablespoons because we love the flavour. And then we're going to go in with ground cumin. And by the way, this is Rachel Alma's recipe. Like, I'm going back on track. Basically, the butternut squash is my own little, kind of has my own little flavours, but everything else is back on track. Okay, so ground cumin and um, one teaspoon. Um, ground coriander, one teaspoon again. Um, and turmeric, basically in her video, she says turmeric, but like in her, on her website there's no measurements. So I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of turmeric, like a heap teaspoon. Okay. And then I'm also gonna add some ginger in there, like quite a lot of ginger, because she has fresh ginger, but I don't have that because coronavirus. So I'm just adding ground. I'll show you my little seasoning pot in a second. I'm adding like two tablespoons, cause why not? Okay. Here are the seasonings. We're just gonna mix it around, you know. Make sure everything's really even. You know what I mean? Even, Steven. So I've put some carrots in the mixture, and I've just put a couple of teaspoons of my spice mixture into this because I feel like it's getting a bit watery and it's not really getting crispy, which I want. <sighs> Annoying. So I might put some more oil and more salt. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, before I put it in, I had a bit, and it's good. It tastes proper curry, proper curry, e, curry, really nice actually. I should do this cooking thing more often. Right now I'm just gonna cut some onions, and then fry them, and then put some the seasonings in there. You know what? I was gonna tidy up, but then I realised it wasn't representative of how I work. So it's messy, but the food is good. So, you know, I hate peeling onions. Oh. I hate cutting onions, it's actually painful. Oh. My eyes are dying, I can't do this. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm not cutting the onions any more than this because my eyes are in physical pain. What elegance. texture because if you look the what's it called Brussels, not Brussels sprouts butternut squash is that quite butternut squash is quite soft now so I want some texture and I'm gonna add these chickpeas in there. This is two cans of chickpeas. And I've just put my spice mixture in and it's been simmering away for a little bit. Um, and now I'm going to put a stock cube in. It's chicken stock cube because I don't have any vegetables. But we're just going to move. I think I was supposed to break this up with my hands in that stock cube, but it's okay. We're going to move. I added coriander into my little bowl, pan. And now I'm going to add the sweet potato. But and that squash, I'm sorry. Yeah, here it is 
also chopped um, 200 grams of coconut cream, which would be really nice to go in because I just think it would just give it creamy, creamy texture and taste. And also, I've put some spinach, I'm going to put some spinach frozen by the way because, like, it's easy just for it to just go, just to go off. But yeah, um, quite labour intensive, so better be worth it. I just realised quite a lot of my videos have been blown. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, some rice. And voila. Welcome to George's vegan meal. So, how was it? Mmm, wow. It's delicious. Mum, can you be more realistic? Yeah. Alright, thanks. It's in the mark when you say. Yeah. You too, Dad. Just get a bit of rice and a bit of. Oh yeah, how are you enjoying it? Did you bring my drink, by the way? <laughs> I've got it in the video. Anyway, um... Mm -hmm. You can't take that shot. Look at the ironing board next to your head. Oh. Dad, what do you think? That's okay. delicious. The coconut on it. Mmm. Mm, the coconut. Getting coriander. Thank you for the ingredients mm. list. What do mm. you think about it? Yes. Thank you.